we just came back from our <coughs> our vacation from Japan. Most of we spent about a week in West Japan, mostly in Osaka and around and the cities around it. And today, this is a video for the open package, open box of what I have bought in Osaka in. Uh, this department store, my favorite so far, Takashimaya. I bought there several porcelain. As usual, every time you go for holidays, you look what's going on there locally. There, there are good artists, artists all over the world spending their life, devoting their life, making porcelain. I don't want to miss it. Uh, at the top floor of this department store has several small exhibitions of the pottery. But because, <coughs> because of the size problem, I only bought a series from this company, Fukawa, this one. I have no more space for all the things I like, so I picked up <coughs> some of them. It's a pity that uh, I already told the, told the sales lady that this is for myself. Please don't make a gift package, but you know in Japanese style department store, they are very serious about the package. This is even not a gift package. They, call it, <coughs> they say this is a very simple one. Uh, so. The service is good. I was looking at the porcelain and the different artwork and sitting in the salon <coughs> and the sales lady did all the packaging and uh, cashier work for me. So we just chat and wait. So here it is. They also said it's a pity if I don't take the original package. This is uh, this is the name of the pattern. This is the company name, and this is limited edition because 2019 uh, Japan welcome their new emperor. So from Fukawa Porcelain as a celebration we have a special design with a special price it's very attractive so I said let's take it they sell them make western style coffee cup look at this I find this beautiful stunning And the gold work from Fukawa is also famous. And it's a coffee coffee cup and the uh, dessert set is also practical. Talking about practical. Since when I'm practical. Let's just open it. Package and package.
Portilla is fine white with a beautiful reflection of the light and and it, it's really it, it it's it's I really enjoy only holding it because uh, this department store has uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Western brands. That's why I want to go in the first place. They have Meissen, they have Heron, they have Copenhagen, and everything. A Wood also. But then after spending an hour there, I I I think I go for the <coughs> traditional Japanese. Uh, porcelain. It, it's really very light. Especially, especially the blue here. Uh, they, they really know. They, they, this is. A, they have a long history of of the. Uh, Porcelain mold, how to say it in English. Yes, I have them in the hand. I first want to buy some, you know, cute strawberry pottery and things. Then I, I pass this traditional exhibition. I, I cannot stop myself. And they said this is limited edition. Of course, I take one. Oh, I put this aside. We have some more. It is a pity that I cannot uh, bring many teapot back with me because it, these are too big for the carry-on luggage. So I bought uh, <coughs> I bought another <laughs> special form uh, <coughs> cup. It's not a mark, but it's really special. And this one, this one, and it's also <laughs> expensive, I guess, because of the, not only the paint, the pattern, but also because of the shape. This is good for the morning. <laughs> Very special. This is very, very common in the Japanese uh, porcelain. This is uh, Asakawa, the name of the the flower. And it has also a funny handle. They said it keeps your mark, keeps your cup very steady. And also this change <coughs> of color of the blue is, is stunning. Smooth, beautiful. You don't see it very often at this I have to say at this price there are also a lot of things very nice but it's not affordable. <coughs> yes.
guess I have no idea about the Fukawa porcelain because where we live in Europe, you see a lot of uh, how to say, low, comparatively cheap porcelain, but there's you don't see this uh, hand paint very often. First, I want to buy another another Japanese brand, which is famous, more famous internationally. Uh, and the uh, sales lady, the chefing, she said, uh, why don't you have a look here? <laughs> and I look at this brand. I cannot uh, turn away from it anymore. Here's the last one. I keep telling them I have size problem, I cannot buy anymore and I keep telling them I want this also. Please wrap it. These are two traditional uh, Japanese teacup. The round one with the lid. We often see it. In a, this is for, this is a very reasonable price. Nobody has to be nervous when you use it for tea. But the quality is, is the same, it's the same. It's just about the painting and it's not so complicated as the other one. And this is the flower in Japanese, I believe, is uh, Zakula. I hope so, I see if I still remember it. And this is also a very old traditional pattern and hundreds of years ago. The porcelain manufacturer in Europe also tried to make similar pattern, but seems it's difficult for them to achieve this this color color of the leaf is very difficult i so i have heard i i actually i also did not see it you know in the western porcelain manufacture it, they have an, they have other styles and the porcelain itself is also beautiful Thin, white, smooth, not as thin as paper as some like my parents' generation would like. Oh, but I, I really like, you know, the feeling in your hand is really important. We are not hanging it in a cupboard for exhibition, we are using it. This is for daily use. This teacup with the lid, this is only about 38 Swiss francs. 38 francs is, is totally affordable for family daily use. This is good. And here's the same one. It's a pity I cannot take the teacup, the same style teacup, back with me this time. 
there are so many beautiful items. Beautiful. Actually, the, say, the chef only showed me this teacup uh, in the chat that this is also hundreds of years ago. This pattern is also very popular in Europe and the history of this and that. And when I have it in the hand, and I said, I take two of this. I'm just such a shallow shopping girl. And then because I cannot have everything, and I got this catalog. This is all, also one of the beautiful item, but this is really big. The, 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 I don't know why they make the Western teacup so big. Ah, I am lucky I could also have this one in hand. Ah, and this here mentioned, this is father and daughter, uh, they have this artwork, hand paint and all the secret about the paint they are using. You, you can see they are not in luxury workshop, they are really hard working and money is not the first thing. It's beautiful. And in the department shop, they don't have so many Western style coffee cup. But on the catalog, maybe I can order them next time. For us, the, the coffee and the Western teacup is more practical. And of course, this uh, Fujiyama is also a famous pattern, I guess, the tourists. A lot of tourists will really like it. I like it too. Just not enough space in the suitcase. Ah, uh, here, here is mine. What I bought is... Oh, uh, this one is also very, very special. Uh, it's with a gold round. Yes, this is my first time ever have the Fukawa Pozila in my hand. I, it, it, it's, it, it really feel, it feel very fine, special when you have it in hand. And I think this is the price compared with this fine work and uh, call it, it's, it's really, it's not high, it's not high at all. Thanks for bearing me with all this <coughs> open box and coughing. Yeah. I, I really feel great for the chef who showed me this. I, I really enjoyed the, the f in general, everything about this teacup. Cannot wait to try my new Chinese tea I have bought. So, thanks for... Uh, I already said that again. Uh, that's it. That's the uh, open box for today. And I, I, feel it, I feel really grateful that they introduced me to this brand. I had before no idea that I can try really new and and for me it's high end. Even the price is not as high as you know the famous European manufacturer, but it it, it really worth it. I hope that oh, that's it. I hope thanks a lot and I hope you have a nice day. Oh, I miss Osaka already. <laughs>